keep a journal, a bound copy of all my notes. So I would suggest you do the same. Things that impress you, a poem that impresses you. Uh, when you attend a class, some of the ideas that impressed you, jot them down. Uh, you read something in a magazine, right? Some ideas, take those out, put them in your journal. Keep a good journal the rest of your life. This will serve you well. My journals make up a significant portion of my own library. And if you saw my library and saw my journals, I'd tell you what you'd have to say. This is the library and these are the journals of a very serious student. No wonder Mr. Rohn is invited to lecture and speak on his experiences around the world. So I want the same thing to happen to you. Value captured that you can resort to later. Go back over it and review it and let it become valuable to you. So that's my first subject, personal development. Work harder on yourself than you do on your job. Develop the skills, learn the lessons, take the classes, uh, absorb all that is being taught to you these days. And then later on, of course, you can sort it out, what's valuable to you and how to refine it for your business and for your life and for your future. But the main thing is to get it and start this process of personal change, personal development. And let me say it one more time, if you will change, everything will change for you. You'll never be the same. You'll keep growing. As you look back on a few months, look back on a few years, you won't believe the progress you can make economically, your relationship with your family, your friends, and whether you're in sports or economics or whatever, I'm telling you, that whole process of committing yourself for personal change, personal value, can really make your life unique and worthwhile. How much more grievous are the consequences of anger than the causes of it? Seek respect, not attention. It lasts longer. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Aristotle this quote highlights the importance of critical thinking and the ability to consider different perspectives without immediately embracing them. He who is not courageous enough to take risks will accomplish nothing in life. Our only limitations are those we set up in our own minds. The self is always present. You only need to recognize it. Nisargadatta Maharaj As we say commonly, the physician hath prescribed unto this man riding, unto another cold baths, unto a third to go barefoot. So it is alike to say, the nature of the universe hath prescribed unto this man sickness, or blindness, or some loss or damage or some such thing. For as there, when we say of a physician, that he hath prescribed anything, our meaning is, that he hath appointed this for that, as subordinate and conducing to health. So here, whatsoever doth happen unto any, is ordained unto him as a thing, subordinate unto the fates. And therefore, do we say of such things, that they do simvenin, that is, happen or fall together. As of square stones, when either in walls or pyramids in a certain position they fit one another and agree, as it were, in an harmony, the masons say that they do simvenin, as if thou shouldest say, fall together, so that in the general, though the things be diverse that make it, yet the consent or harmony itself is but one. And as the whole world is made up of all the particular bodies of the world, one perfect and complete body, of the same nature that particular bodies, so is the destiny of particular causes and events one general one, of the same nature that particular causes are. What I now say, even they that are mere idiots are not ignorant of, for they say commonly tuto efferenafto, that is, this his destiny hath brought upon him. This therefore is by the fates properly and particularly brought upon this, as that unto this in particular is by the physician prescribed.
These therefore let us accept of in like manner, as we do those that are prescribed unto us our physicians. For them also in themselves shall we find to contain many harsh things, but we nevertheless, in hope of health and recovery, accept of them. Let the fulfilling and accomplishment of those things which the common nature hath determined be unto thee as thy health. Accept then, and be pleased with whatsoever doth happen, though otherwise harsh and unpleasing, as tending to that end, to the health and welfare of the universe, and to Jove's happiness and prosperity. For this whatsoever it be, should not have been produced, had it not conduced to the good of the universe. For neither doth any ordinary particular nature bring anything to pass, that is not to whatsoever is within the sphere of its own proper administration and government, agreeable and subordinate. For these two considerations, then, thou must be well pleased with anything that doth happen unto thee. First, because that for thee properly it was brought to pass, and unto thee it was prescribed, and that from the very beginning, by the series and connection of the first causes, it hath ever had a reference unto thee. And secondly, because the good success and perfect welfare, and indeed the very continuance of him, that is, the administrator of the whole, doth in a manner depend on it. For the whole, because whole, therefore entire and perfect, is maimed and mutilated, if thou shalt cut off anything at all, whereby the coherence and contiguity, as of parts, so of causes, is maintained and preserved, of which certain it is that thou doest, as much as lieth in thee, cut off, and in some sort violently take somewhat away, as often as thou art displeased with anything that happeneth. Because fans don't know, we, I mean, teammates don't know, nor do they care, nor should they, that you've been up all night. You gotta perform. Like I see a lot of players take vacations with other players that are close friends. And I'll just take vacations just to take vacations or just hang out, just to hang out. Like I, I, I'm not, I never did that. But why, why, not, why, why, why didn't you do that? What, well, because when I retire, I didn't want to have to say, I wish I would have done more. All week you was work hard. Mm. End of the week, if you don't tie it, this is a good question. Mm. You have to worry about yourself. But this is Saturday. Mm. You six day you work so hard, of course you're going to tie it. Mm. Tomorrow rest and Monday we're going to begin one more training. Mm. If you don't want, go back to Dagestan and stay with your mom. She's gonna give you every day good breakfast. Yeah. You don't do nothing. Stay there. But if you come here, don't complain. You wanna become best. You wanna become champion. And now you wanna say like you're tired? Who cares? You're tired or not? Nobody cares about it. He was tired. He had personal problem, family. Nobody cares. A lot of people live their entire lives not fulfilling their purpose. One time in my life I felt that. What was my purpose? Till you find the center of your being, you will continue to walk, going through the motions. The one companion that's always going to be with you is yourself. Yourself is what you have. And you need to encourage yourself. You need to look around and you need to be able to say, look, I'm not stuck here unless I choose to stay here. If you don't have somebody who's going to do that, become that somebody. What's something difficult you're going through that people don't often see? I mean, my mind is a storm. I don't think most people would want to be me. They may think. Do not let yesterday use up too much of today. Spend your first 20 years worrying what people think about you. You spend your next 20 years swearing that you don't care what people think about you. You spend the next 20 years realizing that they aren't thinking about you. A good teacher is better than a barrel full of books. Chinese proverb. People are distressed by their inability to do it. The problem, however, is simply that they don't 
do it.